as usual, when I present a very simple but confusing concept of torque application in orthodontics, I tend to get the same question over and over again, which means if we are going to be applying torque, which means what torque is a pure moment or a simple moment. And what it does is basically it consists of two simple but fairly complicated systems. One is a force one, the other one is a force, an opposite and equal force two, which is actually equals to minus F1. And if you draw a perpendicular between these two forces, D, you get a torquing moment or a pure moment or also called a force couple. And this force couple equals to the sum of the two moments created, which is F1 by D over two. plus F2 times D over 2 again, half the distance. So that's easy. Actually, the rotation is a clockwise moment. So then when you apply the torque with a wire, and let's assume you want the root of the upper incisor to move lingually and you do not want the incisal edge to move or just very little, you may say, well, I may have to put more torque. I will introduce a large rectangular wire like so. I will have to activate it, meaning I need to twist it to introduce it into the bracket and what you will get once it's deactivated you will get this kind of torque so this is a force couple that is equals to an f time d type of solution d being the distance inside the, the, the wire, and this is the torque that you will get, the force couple. So the big question is, where is the torque apply? Where is it apply? And usually I get the answer that it is at the bracket. In reality, it's independent of the point of application. Like you all know that a force in any direction will have what we call a point of application P. And depending on where you are placing the point of application, you will get vastly different movements of the object. In the case of the Torque, let me explain something that is not actually very, I would say, intuitive, is the torque will be, for mathematical calculations, will be applied at the center of resistance of the tooth, because there is bone and resistance, so you know that there is bone here, and there is this center resistance right here. Let's try to demonstrate this using just pure mathematics. So now I have my force couple right here, F1, and I got F2. So remember that the two forces are equal and opposite, but they have a different line of action, which are parallel to each other. So basically, there is no translation because F1 and F2 cancel each other in space, meaning the object submitted 
to this force system will not translate but will instead rotate so you say okay so maybe i could put a point here at a distance okay so what you're gonna have is let's assume here call r1 this is called r2 so this is the point let's say m all right so this point here is at r1 so what you get here from this point here what does the object will fill it will fill two moments one will be called moment one equals f1 times r1 and moment two will be called r2 or f2 times r2 everybody gets that then I say, okay, maybe I could put this M point a little bit further, call M prime at a distance R. So now the, these moments, the two moments are now different because you're gonna have moment prime one equals um r1 plus r times f1 and moment prime 2 equals r2 plus r times f2 everybody agrees to that so now you have these four systems And then what happens is the total moment here is going to be equal to F1, sorry, times R1 plus F2 times R2. Everybody agrees to that? And this guy here. m prime will be equal to r1 plus r times f1 plus r2 times r times f2 we all agree on that then let's come down to here and look at m prime in relation to m so basically if i take m prime which is equal to r1 f1 plus r f1 plus r2 f2 plus r f2 we will agree on that or well, m prime equals 2 r1 times f1 plus sorry r2 times f2 we'll get that plus then we are going to get the r together r times f1 plus f2 so this is equivalent right these two are equivalent equations but then as we know because of the f1 in one direction and the f2 in the other direction we have m prime sorry equals r1 times f1 plus r2 times f2 which is equal to m because f1 here 
is zero, so this becomes zero. And what it shows is you still have the same couple or the same effect if you are applying this at m or at m prime, doesn't make a difference. And usually in orthodontics, for it's called mathematical modeling, because remember that we consider an object through the center of mass, which is in orthodontics become the center of resistance. So what we do, we choose the center of resistance as M and the force couple here would be expressed at M in a equivalent force system. So when you have this type of a couple for mathematical reasons in orthodontics, we are going to be taking this force couple and look at the effect on the tooth at CR and you will notice that this force couple, if you go around CR, which is a pure rotation, so you have a pure rotation, obviously will give you this, okay, it will give you the distal or lingual force application to move the apex lingually, but it will also give you as a side effect a force here at the incisal edge or even in the bracket, depending how you want to calculate it, that will tend to bring the crown mesially. So that's why when you are applying lingual root torque on an incisor, you need a force system that is basically putting a large couple at the bracket. So you get this big couple. So you're going to be moving this tooth, but also you need to incorporate a force in the opposite direction to cancel this force and this force become zero and the only thing you are keeping is this movement. So this is why you need a force system, not just a force couple, depending on what you want to do, of a force, which is in this case lingual lingually position and a large moment to get lingual root torque. Hopefully this helped and if you have any questions do not hesitate to ask and this is mathematics it's very simple and but it's very important for you to understand that when you apply torque make sure that it is applied with a force system, not just with torquing the brackets, because you will not get what you expect. You will increase the overjet in this case, and you will get the, the, the torque, but not necessarily exactly what you are expecting. Thank you.